10 years ago today, the considera consideration of deferred action for childhood arrivals or DACA was created. It makes it so kids brought to the U.S. as children are eligible for work and in some states, DACA helped make college more affordable. Nine News reporter Luis De Leon spoke to an MSU Denver graduate who's using their own experience with the program to help others. My role and our role here is to support students regardless of their immigration status. Navigating paperwork can be a lot. And it can it can get very stressful very fast. But for Pablo Chavira with MSU Denver's Immigrant Services Program. We want to make sure that students are receiving financial aid if they're not eligible for FAFSA. That work is worth it. And especially when they when they're eligible for Dream US, that's that's very fulfilling. He makes sure the students he sees, mostly DACA recipients, are supported in school and comfortable in a space. Yeah, I like to make it like not too not too serious in here. The journey of his students is at times a reflection of his own. Before DACA existed, I really did not know how I was going to pay for college. That was something that I was really worried about. Chavita was brought to the States by his parents when he was four from Chihuahua, Mexico. He says DACA was the reason he could go to college. Being able to work, you know, being able to to have a stable income. That's something that I still appreciate to this day, you know. Wednesday marks a decade of DACA. Because of it, certain people that come to the U.S. as children could qualify for work permits, financial aid for college, and more. That makes a difference for people like Chavira. DACA is a great program, but it also has excluded a lot of people who aren't eligible for it. It hasn't come without its uncertainties. It's a big panic for, for people who have DACA right now because like as a recipient, like I wanna I I wanna be able to remain like financially stable. Chavita hopes that the eligibility requirements expand and hopes the narrative changes too. Have some compassion. According to the latest data from U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, there are more than 600,000 active DACA recipients across the country. Shavira says they're working to distribute 10 $2,000 grants to help students with DACA renewal.